Greetings, pathetic humans! This is the Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Destroy All Humans! Last time, we arrived at Earth and kind of saw a welcoming party. In this episode, we are heading on. Roswell, Rockwell, and. That's the last time I take direction from a Cryptosporidium. We are heading over to Roswell, I mean Rockwell. So let's go ahead and get going. Because we need to blow some crap up. Because that's what this game is all about. Yeah. I do not like that title. Crypto. I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture? So now the game's gonna tell us about alert levels. As if we couldn't really figure that out. So the middle kind of four icons up at the top is the alert level. The first one is just simply humans are aware of our presence. The second is police have been sent out to try to kill us. The third is the army. And the last is majestic. So yeah. Also we have a different kind of psychokinetic ability. And that is the hollow bob ability. So if we target a human... It has to be a, a live human. If we just hit circle, we can transform into that human. Now this drains, yes, thank you. This drains concentration. However, to refill concentration, all you need to do is just scan the mind of a human. It's all it takes. Man, am I buff. Beat that Charles Atlas. So yeah, that's how you can regain concentration and not lose your disguise there's actually thanks what we need is the dumbest weakest willed most malleable human we can find admittedly the competition will be fierce you just have to yeah. scan them all so now we have to scan the minds of three humans to find who we're looking for my man she might be the dumbest miss rockwell ever and check out them cantaloupes <laughs> god i love america this human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this right now. The game kind of has a lot of references to. You know what? This game has a lot of innuendo. I'm gonna say that right now, especially in this level. And particularly when you scan the minds of just ordinary civilians. A house in the suburbs, a loving wife, a happy family, mowing on Saturday, church on Sundays, working for my daily bread, and a shed full of power tools. What more could a man want? <laughs> That's like the worst example I could have pulled. But yeah, often when you scan a human, they'll say like some sort of innuendo type thing. So what I usually try to do is that, like, I'll s try to scan it, and it will fill up the concentration, but as long as I don't hold down X when the thought reaches the human, then I won't actually read their mind. It's also useful because some characters, namely Majestic, give spoilers if you read their mind, so that's a problem. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, Hell of a yes. metaphor indeed. Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, crypto. Well, we've got a person right here. He looks important. Let's hypnotize him. Nah. <laughs> Scan him. All right. I didn't even get to read his mind. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. <laughs> no. Damn. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, 
not vaporize. Mm. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? Can I point out your inconsistency? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. You know, Pox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Charlie's there's the thought. Great. Business is booming. Hope is on the way. Yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Don't mind me, I'm just going to be walking very quickly. Walking very quickly now. I will now be turning a corner. I will be approaching this man, and I will run into him. Hey, I look like you. Anyway, what was I going to say before? Oh yeah, Pox! Use... Oh yeah, I read your thought before. You know, Pox, for being on my case so much that the game is called destroy all humans you're a hypocrite for making me do this kind of stealth stuff the, the game does that pretty often it makes you go through these types of stealth type stealth missions I'm feeling wild today maybe I'll try riding that thing fair back walk to the saucer do it now also I need to scan your mind again I said scan your mind Sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Okay. Let's just move with Miss Rockwell. Isn't the. No, that's a police car. That is not the exit. There's the exit. Okay. It's right here, Miss Rockwell. It's right here. I'm a walking myocardial infarction. Just a waiting to happen. Just keep going, Miss Rockwell. Just keep going. Hey, I hollabobbed you. We're twinsies. Twinsies. All oh, right, we have to start the probing now. Okay, fine. Sure it is. This sure doesn't look like the pie-eating contest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! What's happening? Oh, God, please, no. Oh, oh, it, it tickles. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there, that's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. So vocal, so responsive. This is gonna be good. Never fail. Yet another Who sign of the innuendo. The are on their way. Get in your saucer. But now we finally get to the fun part of this mission. We get to enter the saucer. And we can finally get to blow crap up. About freaking time. I'm tired of this stealth crap. Disturbing Destroy the fair! Ha 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 ha! The more people become aware of it, the more chance that those human policemen at the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Yeah, that's kind of because I'm destroying the fair. With a giant flying saucer. I think people would become very suspicious if they saw this. Ow. That caused damage to this. I think. <laughs> Does that seriously do damage to this? Nah, it probably doesn't. So, anyway, yes. Destroy it all. Destroy everything. Your pathetic bullets will have no effect on my fly- Oh, that actually kind of had a little bit of effect. But it's too late to save your pathetic little fair. <laughs> yes. Death, chaos, and destruction everywhere. 
I love the smell of chaos in the morning. How are they going to cover this one up? Disaster at Rock Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in Tyler's by Freak Storm. Freak Storm of... Wah! Ah. Of... Ah. Fire and Brimstone. That's what I was trying to say. Something in Brimstone. I can't remember what it was. Yes, yeah, Storm of Fire and Brimstone. Now, we don't have to go and collect DNA, but there is a probe that I want to grab. And reference number three of innuendo. I actually saw this not too long ago, but if you head on over behind your saucer... Somewhere. They're around here somewhere. They're not that far from the saucer, damn it. Oh, there they are. Yeah, right outside of your saucer. You see these cars? Look at the cars. Yes. They're moving on your own. Walk up to the cars. There's a handprint. And it's very foggy. And they are by a lake. Yes. Yes, take that. Take that as you will. And yet, yes, this game is rated T for teen. Holy crap! Did I mention that the people in this game were idiots and will kill pretty much anyone if they're in your way? Holy crap! I didn't quite expect that. Well, I got the brains that I wanted. Let, let's go. Jeez, that tank was a complete moron. Well, we finished that, and ooh. It's only after the second mission that Pox has an upgrade. Awesome. So let's go ahead and visit that now. We've got plenty of time. So we head on down to Pox's lab. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? Well, that's the entire reason why I got it. Alien upgrades it is. Step inside my shop. So yes, we can purchase upgrades for our various weapons and abilities for both Crypto and the Saucer. So we can get either an upgrade to our Psychokinesis, which will allow us to pick up vehicles. Or an upgrade to the Zapomatic, which will extend the lightning to an additional target if it hits it, which is actually pretty neat. Now, in order to purchase future upgrades, like in order to purchase upgrade 2, if it becomes available, you have to purchase upgrade 1. You can't just say, no, I don't want it. I'm just going to go ahead and buy the second upgrade. Nah, you got to do them in order. Which isn't that bad. Especially if you kind of keep on gathering DNA as you go along, then you'll be fine. Plus, certain missions require a certain amount of DNA, so you'll be able to buy upgrades that way. But I always buy the Zapomatic upgrade first. I'll see your DNA and raise you one shiny new upgrade. Because it kills people quicker. Did you want to? No, I didn't. I'm good. So, that will do it for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Destroy All Humans! We are going to head back to Rockwell and do some more espionage. Don't worry, we'll blow more crap up later on in the game. Not too terribly late. Like, actually, we'll get to blow stuff up next time. Awesome! Until then.